What makes voice o matic unique is its ability to work with just about any character rig. So we have a head model here set up with Morpher and Morph targets for the various mouth positions. And we already have an audio file loaded into the scene. So let's open up voice o matic We have already mapped all the mouth positions. So if we press create keys, our animation will be generated and ready to be fine tuned. So if we open up the curve editor, we can see the various curves created by Voicematic. These curves are just standard morph targets, and we can adjust them to our liking. One of the very cool features in Voicematic is that instead of using Voicematic's default recognition engine, you can also use Microsoft SAPI. SAPI is a recognition engine directly built into the latest version of Windows. By turning SAPI on and clicking Create Keys, if we then look at curves, we can see that a whole new set of curves have been created. This is an entirely different animation built from Microsoft Voice Recognition Engine, SAPI. Sometimes you will get better results from Voicematic's native engine. But if you want, you can use a different engine. SAPI is set up within Voicematic automatically, as long as it's present in your Windows environment. Sometimes using SAPI or another recognition engine will yield a better result depending on the type of animation you wish to create and the audio file you use to create it from. Thank you for watching this brief overview on how to enable the use of Microsoft SAPI in Voicematic. For more information on Voicematic, please visit our website at www.diomatic.com.